for new beginnings and a time for endings. And after four years, the end has come for the Ninth Senate. Before bidding goodbye, the Senate holds a valedictory session to commemorate the end of the Ninth Assembly. Lawmakers trickle into the Senate chamber, ready for the session to begin. The upper chamber suspends its rules to allow members who have moved to the executive arm access the chamber. The Senate clerk presents the certificate of legislative service to the Senate President, Senator Ahmed Lawan, and the Deputy Senate President, Senator Ove Omagigi. The Senate President then issues the certificate of legislative service to his colleagues. The floor is open for remarks by senators. Some of them are emotional as they recount their experiences in the last four years. I went through one of my best time in life in this Senate, and also went through one of my difficult period. Also in this Senate, before I came to the Senate, before I came into politics, I can buy anything but I can buy. I'm not a thief. Those that put me in prison, no the reason they put me in prison. They took over all my businesses and want to kill me. But I survived it. I'm in the Senate with you people. Since I've joined this uh, National Assembly, it is always time for us to come and say goodbye to people that you don't want to part with. <laughs> yes, we have done all we could. We have cooperated that much. But can we say we have succeeded when 75% of us are not coming back? It's also an avenue for the legislators to offer words of advice to the incoming lawmakers. We have to make the necessary sacrifice which starts with the new 10th assembly. And so I will urge the government and uh, the 10th Senate to look at the issues of the political and administrative structure for the people of the FCT. So Mr. President, for the incoming Senate, please, please, and you will be the special advisor to that particular Senate, special advisor extraordinary. Once a motion is taken on the floor of the Senate, and that motion is also taken in the House of Reps or vice versa, and if the agreement is the same, then the executive must be compelled to adhere, to give effect to that particular motion and the prayers therein. The issue of the Gender and Equal Opportunities Bill I want to request that the government makes it an executive bill so that no senator and no member of the National Assembly will be able to have a dissenting voice. The President of the Senate makes his final speech. A healthy and constructive relationship between the executive and the legislative arms promotes stability and continuity in governance. By working together these past four years, we are positively addressed pressing national issues, resolve conflicts, and maintain political stability, which is crucial for economic growth, social development, and improve public trust in the government. The Senate President becomes emotional at the response of his colleagues. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The curtain finally closes for the Ninth Senate. In Dakibi, Channels Television News. Now for more perspectives on the achievements of the Ninth National Assembly at large, we're joined on the news at